but most of the time you invite someone to your house named Matt, he sits at your door and says welcome. <laughs> He's talking about a welcome Matt, in case you missed it. <laughs> Ours doesn't say welcome though, does it? It does not. And that's because I've been spending a lot of time around the house lately because 2020 and I really wanted something extra to make me smile as I'm picking up all those extra Amazon deliveries that keep coming to the house. They're not mine. They're, they're definitely mine. <laughs> <laughs> so custom doormats are all the rage. We decided we would give it a try. Good news is you only need a few materials and a couple of hours and you can have your very own custom doormat. So I'm Daniel. And I'm Jay-Z. This is just my DIY. And today, that's what we're going to show you. So stick around and we'll get started now. So we're working in Cricut Design Space and this is just a text-based design. The biggest thing to know is just make sure it's sized appropriately before you click make it. Once you get to the matte screen, clear that warning. We know it's going to be longer than 12 by 12. And then I like to move my design so I'm using the right amount of stencil material. I move the design down a little bit to give me extra room to tape things down on the sides. I have a custom setting for stencil foam for Hobby Lobby. I'll put those in the description, but we're using the deep point blade for this. So once you have everything ready to go, it's time to get your stencil blanks on your mat. These I just got at Hobby Lobby, but you can get some on Amazon as well. Using a 12 by 24 strong grip mat, and then just making sure that the stencil material is adhered nicely. Give it a good rub all over, make sure it's not gonna move. Now, like I said, with the stencil film, I use the deep point blade. So I'm just gonna switch that out real quick. And then load the mat and press go. One thing to note about the stencil film is that it actually does have a clear film over one side of it. I forgot about that on my first mat, so when I peeled it off, it all came off together. No worries, it cut right through and I can pull it right off. But you'll see with the second mat, I remember to pull that film off, so everything actually, quote unquote, weeds out a little bit easier. So just note that when you're working with a thicker stencil film, it doesn't tear easily. It can tear. This didn't. You can see I'm not being super gentle with it, but just be mindful that it can tear. But once you get that off the mat, don't forget to grab all the insides of your letters and place them down just to make sure everything is together before you move on to the next step. Now you'll see that the bust of move is not aligned properly, so we're gonna work on that next. I'm using a self-healing cutting mat and just one of those Cricut X-Acto knives to trim everything down. The great thing about these cutting mats as well is that you can align things perfectly because they have the grid on them. So I'm gonna tape this into place before we move over to the mat. That way I know bust a move is all aligned. Now it's time for the painting. Once you have everything placed on your mat, you tape it down, make sure you get all of the little spaces between your letters in a good place and on top of the tape. We're getting everything set up here, the insides of the letters, and then tape the, all the area that we don't want to have color on. And then the straight pins go in and there's no such thing as too many straight pins here. You wanna make sure that that design is down fully. Once we have everything in place, we go to the Flex Seal. When using it, you want to try and spray in as vertical down, straight down pattern as possible to avoid getting the Flex Seal sprayed underneath your stencil and blurring your edges. It is designed to dry quickly in a well-ventilated area, because it also stinks. Bad. 
<laughs> and 15 minutes later, you should be okay for a second coating. It is still in a well-ventilated area. It doesn't smell any better the second time. <laughs> then we use a clear coat, Flex Seal, again, different kind of Flex Seal. And in a well-ventilated area, <laughs> feel free to spray that liberally too. And then peel straight up. And don't forget the little pieces in the middle of the letters. Mm -hmm. I'd suggest letting this dry and cure fully overnight before you put it out front. Or back. <laughs> As we said, super easy to make this. I think he's trying to break dance and bust a move. But it's concrete. It doesn't work. It really does. It's going to tear up his <laughs> pants. But super easy to make the doormat. We hope you like this video. And if you do, you should click on the button that says you do. Click the subscribe thing. And when the bell appears, ring it. And of course, there's a list of materials down below. And if you're not watching this on our website, head over to JustMyDIY.com for more. Thanks for watching.